Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video tutorial. This time I am showing how to set up an Apple Airport Extreme router. Now this same setup can go to the Airport Express, new and old, extreme new and old, as well as the time capsules. They all set up the exact same way. Um, best way to set it up is through an Apple device of some kind, iPhone, iPad, and Mac. I'm going to actually do the setup on the iPhone uh, since I would have to believe that more people have iPhones than they do anything else. Um, but that said, you could also set them up on a PC as well. Uh, easiest way to do it is, and the best way to do it is, Airport uh, Utility, which is an application. You have to download it to the iPhone and the iPad. It's built into a Mac, and you can download it for a PC as well. So I have a refresh. Actually, I reset this one so everything's cleaned off of it. It's blinking uh, amber uh, colors, saying that you know, slow blink at least. It's ready to go, but there's nothing, it's it's ready to be set up basically. I have my cable modem in the other room, which I have directly wired to this Ethernet cable, which I'm going to plug directly into the wide area network or the lower of the ones, the one that actually has the circular uh, emblem right above it. That's where your modem is gonna plug in. So the to the internet, I guess, is maybe the best way. So I'm gonna plug that in right now and have it set up. Uh, if it is properly connected, you will see a green light down here as well. However, now that it's ready to roll, we're going to continue the setup on the phone, and I'm going to come over to you. All right, so here I am on my phone. On my iPhone, I'm going to go to settings to go to my Wi-Fi settings, and I'm going to go, if you scroll down here, you will see that there is set up new airport ex, uh, base station, basically. Uh, I have the airport extreme. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to actually open up the airport setup within the actual phone itself, which basically is the airport utility, to be honest. Um, just just the setup portion of it. Now it's going to go ahead and ex, you know set, tell you what it's doing. Uh, it's going to join the airport extreme, and then it's probably going to go through my whole host of things here, but create a new network. I'm just going to call Brian Fine's, Brian's Wi-Fi network. I'm going to make a password just, uh, how about just geek? So verify, oh, maybe it has to be more than, so geek smart. Verify it. Hit return. And then up here in the top right corner, hit next. I'll... I'm not going to say the password on this device, but you can save it, obviously. Do you want to send? Sure, I'll send in the diagnost diagnostics to Apple. And now it's going to look for my Wi-Fi network as it is actually being restarted right now. So right now it's on the restart phase. It's putting in the, all the settings that I just did into the Apple router. And uh, essentially that's all it's, it's doing right now is getting reset or restarted. So here in a moment, hopefully... If I did everything correctly, everything will set up just fine. So now it's, you can see now the light is blinking and now it's green. So it's telling me that if it's green, that means it has an internet connection and it is ready to roll. And of course now it has to send the settings to my app, set up complete, hit done, and boom. Now I'm connected to Brian's Wi-Fi network. And if I go to, eh, I was going to change.org looking at that from that, but let's just go to Google. And now we're on google.com. So, so that is the setup of the Apple Airport Ex Extreme in this case. But like I said, same thing goes with the Airport Express as well as the time capsules. If you have any qu questions, comments, post those below. I should have cards posted to the right uh, for the various other videos that I have both on this channel and on my Tech Goose channel. Uh, but be sure to check those out as well if you have time. Uh, if you have anything else that you want me to add, I definitely will. But stay tuned for other tutorials, including other tutorials with the Apple routers themselves. Um, it's definitely one of the routers that I, I highly prefer because of how easy they are to set up, but also how well they maintain their setup and don't need restarting constantly. So I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of their routers, to be honest. Uh, I can't say that the fastest routers out there because that probably goes to some of the Netgears and D-Links out there. However, um, they're very fast for what they are and they they maintain. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, lastly, check us over at the, on the web, getgeeksmart.com. That's where you can make uh, donations if you'd like to support the channel, but also if you want to submit me um, a request for a future review, by all means do it through the website, getgeeksmart.com. Um, but like I said, subscribe above, post below, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.